Hello and welcome to 417 Fox, your channel for the automotive DIY enthusiast. On today's video, we're going to be discussing our next big project, which is the two-tone clone. As you can see, it's not quite a clone just yet, but it's going to be, so hopefully you'll come along for the ride to see this thing be finished. But before we get started with that, I'd love just to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about my Fox Body journey. Body game since I was in high school. Uh, absolutely love these cars. Of course, we didn't call them box bodies back there in high school. We called them 5.0s. Uh, really always wanted one. A couple of my buddies had those cars. Now we're talking about back in 92 and 93 when I was uh, in, in high school. Uh, really, really, of course, I've always loved red and I really wanted a uh, Mustang GT. You know, the LXs and the notches, of course, we just yeah, called them coupes back in the day too. We, nobody was really big into those. Everybody wanted the GT. And of course, that's what I wanted. So I found one over in Mississippi. It was a 1991 EP Vermilion Red, the same color as this 91 here. And uh, talked my dad in to uh, let's go look at it. Now my dad, he was a little bit of a motorhead too. and learned a ton from that guy as far as when it comes to working on cars from a mechanical standpoint. He was a firefighter, uh, retired from the, the fire department back in my hometown, and but also had a side gig, uh, always doing uh, engine repairs. Like I could fix and work on just about anything. So I, you know, that's one thing I look back on my dad. I'm so um, so thankful from him that uh, I remember all those days when I was, you know, a youngster, and, and dad saying, "Hey, come here, let, let let me show you how to do this," and uh, not really being that interested. But it's amazing how much stuff that that stuck now my dad's gone uh, for a few years now and uh, but I think about him every day when I pick up his tools because that big toolbox back there in the back has so many of his tools in it every time I pick up one of those wrenches I think about my dad so fast forward again to now that I'm in my 40s uh, I have the financial ability to uh, be able to buy a car that's just a toy and uh, so I bought a 1993 uh, Mustang it was actually an LX but it was a Cobra clone it was black bought it um, on eBay out of Florida. Went and picked the car up, drove it about right at 1,500 miles from Florida to here in Southwest Missouri where I live now. And uh, on the way home, uh, the car did fantastic, no mechanical issues, uh, I was happy to get it home. Realized that there was a bigger issue with the car than I thought. There was actually a crack in the paint on the quarter panel. I didn't have the financial ability to afford to take that car to somebody to fix or paint. So I said, you know what, I'm going to learn how to do it myself. And that's the fantastic thing about the Fox Body community and YouTube in general is there's so much information out there, guys, that if you want to put your mind to it, you can do anything. So I decided to learn how to uh, paint a car. Uh, I got the DA out one day and said, you know what, I want to start sanding on this car and I want to see just what's under that crack. Well, unfortunately, there was probably a half inch of filler in some of that uh, quarter panel, so I needed to learn a new trade. I needed to be able to cut out the quarter panel and put a new one in, and that's exactly what I did. Painted that car, finished it. It was a labor of love. That car looked phenomenal. I changed the color to um, Performance Red, which is a very orangish red, as you know, for 1993 Cobra. Finished the car, the car was phenomenal. I was so proud of that car. After three weeks of that car being finished, a lady pulled out in front of me and my two daughters who were in that car, and um, we were lucky to be alive. Here's a pic of the car. As you can see, we were absolutely lucky to be alive. Uh, you know, looking back on it now, it's still a, a stressful moment in my life, but there's many things when I look back at that moment, there's a lot of good that just came from it as well. My daughters, you know, we were all somewhat injured, but nothing was serious. Uh, we were lucky that uh, nobody was hurt uh, seriously, either of the other driver as well. Of course, the car was totaled. My wife was actually probably about two minutes behind us. So we were actually on the way from home from a church on December the 2nd, and uh, she was uh, running probably two minutes behind us. She drove up on the car and seen the accident as she was approaching it. Now you can only imagine um, how difficult that was for my wife to, to drive up on my daughters and myself um, in a terrible accident. Of course, I remember sitting over in the uh, the car with my uh, with my I think my mother-in-law had made it there by that point. They'd also came from church, and I remember sitting in there in the the passenger seat, and I think the uh, I was still in shock. Uh, the adrenaline was still pumping. Um, because I was still able to walk around. I couldn't walk the next day, by the way. 
and uh, the the state troopers kept on coming up to the the car, and they were just shaking their head and said, "Man, I'm sorry about your car." <laughs> like, man, I don't care about the car. I'm just glad that we're not killed, you know. That same month, and uh, I bought this car. This car did not look anything like this. I was like, well, I've got to replace that car. I painted that first car, the first car I ever painted. This is the second car I ever painted. And in all the time that I was watching YouTube and going through a lot of these how-to videos, whether it be on how-to stuff on Fox Body specific or how-to videos on paint, I think there was a, a I think there's kind of a spot out there for me to be able to really help folks out be detailed when it comes to some of these instructional videos. Plus, I think I'm going to be able to bring you some really cool builds that are upcoming, including this two-tone uh, clone. There's also some upcoming builds that I've got planned. There's going to be a 93 Cobra uh, get repainted uh, on this channel. We've also got a white uh, 91 Coupe. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I've got planned for this channel, plus some really cool how-tos. I'm not trying to redo all the how-tos that's been out there, but what I am going to do is when I do a how-to video, it's going to be very detailed. That's something you're probably going to find different about this channel, is that I'm probably just a little bit OCD, and that was something that I found missing in some of the instructional videos when it came to paint. It was either the guy that was so far over the novice's head that you couldn't understand uh, where they were going, and they would show you how to do something but not give you the details. And I guess the best way I can describe that is um, they would show you the cake, show you what it looked like, even tell you how it tastes, but they didn't tell you the ingredients. So what you're going to get on this channel is you're going to get the ingredients. All right, guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to take you through this two-tone clone, what we've already done to it, and more importantly, where we're going to go with it. So if you want to see this car get finished, please make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and also please uh, put a comment down below and I'd be glad to answer any of your comments that you may have, the good, bad, and the ugly. So what's been done to this car so far is some of your typical Fox body upgrades that you would want to see on just about any Fox body. We've got our Maxim Motorsports caster camber plates. We've done uh, charging, we've done cooling, we've done 93 brake booster. You got your proportioning valve. We've got five lug on this car. We've got 0304 Cobra style bear brake up front. We've got your SN95 disc on the back. We've got some really cool ZS ROH nine and a half inch wide all the way around uh, 17 inch five lug wheels. So some really good bones to this car to start with. Now in an upcoming episode, we're gonna go ahead and install a tubular GT40 intake on here. Along with that, we'll discuss a little bit about doing an EGR smog pump delete and kind of discuss what's involved with that with the vacuum system. So take a quick walk around on this car. As you can see, some of it is already disassembled. It's got good bones already, a rust-free Texas car. Now what we're gonna do with this car is we're gonna finish the body work, we're gonna paint it, we're gonna keep it the original color, but we're gonna go ahead and there's a reason why it's called the two-tone clone. We're gonna get a full Cobra body kit on this, Cervini's, Cervini's wing. We'll do an installation video for Cervini's. So on our next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start the actual instructional video on this car. We're gonna start the sanding process. I'm gonna show you proper sanding methods, the types of grits and the types of different methods that you can use. And there's a lot of alternative methods that you can do when you're preparing a car for paint. We'll discuss all of those and then I'm gonna show you what works best for me. The whole goal is to how to get a professional job from doing it DIY and that's what this channel is about. So again, if you guys want to see this car be built from this point on and to get finished, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you on the next video. We'll catch you next time.